Now, the National Identification Authority, NIA, has reacted to critics who have slammed them for refusing to suspend their registration exercise in the face of the COVID-19 outbreak. Contrary to claims that the NIA has defied the orders of the president for public gatherings to be suspended, the NIA says it has not violated any directive since it has adopted measures to prevent the spread of the virus. The NIA, in a statement Thursday, said it has adopted a numbering and appointment system to prevent overcrowding at the registration centers. Meanwhile, the Commissioner of Shraj, Joseph Wittal, says the exercise should be called off for the sake of the right to health of Ghanaians. I, I just think we are rushing this and for the sake of the right to health of all Ghanaians and in obedience to the directive of the president, which is predicated on the WHO precautionary measures and is for all countries to apply domestically. I think we should give it a break. Beyond this call by Shiraj for NIA to suspend this registration process, what else would Shiraj do in the events that NIA ignores your call and then continues with this registration? Would you just lay back and watch them go ahead or, or there's something that Shiraj would want to do? Well, uh, let, let me put it this way. It is not tried that NIA would have been um, refusing to comply. It's a presidential directive, which applies to all of us. So I hope the president's directive should be respected. If there is no respect for that directive, it is the presidency that should take the NIA on. Sure, you will not be interested in taking the NIA on? Well, I'm only drawing the NIA's attention to very legitimate directives for all to comply by the highest personage in this country that we don't need to send mixed messages to our people. If you tell the people, don't go to church, don't bury your people because it will bring about crowds.